Happy Halloween, everybody. So let's say you have a business and you have an ad campaign going on. And so whenever somebody lands on your website and they book an appointment for a free consultation, that lead gets generated into high level. And now what you can do is take that same lead and automatically assign it to one of your staff members and then text them and email them an alert and then ask them to do certain actions. Like for example, a task which could be reach out to this new lead at their phone number and email address, and then let me know when you're done. And then they respond to that text message or email saying, I'm done once they've done the task. And then that task automatically gets updated in your high level. And then you can move on from there, the follow on pipeline stages. Let me show you what I've built that does just this. <clears throat> so I built this to manage our affiliate calendar and let me explain step by step what it does. And then if you stick around, we're going to actually build this so you can do it for yourself if you follow my instructions. So first over to the left, we have a calendar on our website where customers come, they get convinced to, to book a consultation. They go ahead and do that in our calendar. That comes into high level in our first step over here, customer booked an appointment. From there, the automation will assign a tag to that lead saying you're a new lead. And then it checks if this lead has already in our opportunity pipeline or not, because you may have a customer who churned a while ago. Now they're returning back or they saw our ad somewhere else and then coming back in. So it validates whether they're in here or not. Mm. And in any case, it's going to follow down the appropriate path. If it's found, then it's going to update the opportunity. And if it's not found, it's going to create a new opportunity. Then it assigns this lead to a staff member. Now in here, what we've done is added all of the staff members that should be in this particular team and then weighted that equally across each member. This means that when one lead comes in and goes to the first person, the second lead goes to the second person and it evenly distributes these leads across the team. The next step is add task. It does this automatically. So the task name is reach out to lead and then contact the lead to establish rapport and schedule a meeting. So this is the algorithm, the workflow, telling the staff member, hey, you have a new lead, please go do this task. And then it needs a way to let that staff member know. We have these internal notifications in high level, meaning that you can contact your staff members through these notifications. So I've set it up to where it internally sends an email to that particular staff member. So the member the assigned opportunity is, so the member that received this opportunity based on our round robin lead generation is the one that gets assigned this. So it could say, hey, John, for example, automatically. You just got a new lead, check your calendar or log into the Sonic Solutions sub account and check the pipeline for details. Reach out to the lead to establish rapport ASAP and book consultation meeting. And then it's signed by me. So you can get an email, you get an internal app notification because we'll have our lead connector or high level app that you get a ping on your phone. And then also you get a text message letting you know that this is a lead that you have. So multiple internal notifications. And then also it sends you an email and SMS. And I'll get into a little bit more detail on why these are also required, but it sends you an email to your inbox and then also an SMS to the phone number that you have on file. Same message and it just says, hey, when you're done, reply when complete. Now you can say the word done, that would be optimal. But even if you say something like completed or I have finished the task, the algorithm is smart enough to understand the context and we'll go on to the next step. And this is the reason we send an email and an SMS because the wait step is waiting for a reply from an email and SMS or SMS, I should say. It cannot do an internal notification. That's why we have to send a legitimate email and text. We wait until we receive that response from the staff member saying that they're done or something in the affirmative. And then the algorithm updates that task as complete. And now we can come up with a new workflow that would say, once the task is marked complete, move the task to the next stage. And then that kicks off another workflow, another set of tasks, all the way until we win this lead and maybe sign some paperwork or upload documents or take a picture or walk a dog or carry out the service or whatever the task is for any business. And now let's go through and build this together. <coughs> so let's start off and go into your sub account over here, go into automations over here on the left side, 
and then create workflow on the top right and then start from scratch. Now, as always, you can explain to the AI agent to build this workflow for you. I have found some limitations with that, so I tend to build it from scratch. On the top left, we should have our option to do advanced builder. If you don't, go into the agency view, go into labs, and then enable this particular advanced workflow feature. Click on advanced builder, and now we have a blank canvas. So if you're not familiar with this, watch my previous video. I do a walkthrough of all of the features along the sides. But let's go ahead and put our first step in here. So add trigger, and this is going to be customer booked appointment. Click on that. And then where did they book this appointment? Well, it's going to be in a calendar. This calendar is ideally on our website. So in calendar is our filter and then the name of the calendar that's on our website. So let's pick this one and then hit save. So now we have our calendar. Now, the first thing is add a tag. You can search for tag, for example, add contact tag. And then what do we want this tag to be? Well, it's going to be a new lead right here and then save action. And then we'll have it find the opportunity because it may already be in our high level. Here it is, find opportunity. Yes, most recently created opportunity and then add a field. This is gonna be pipeline is and the one pipeline that we have in this affiliate sub account and hit save. Now we have this fork where it's gonna say opportunity found. It's still gonna execute the same steps and then opportunity not found, still gonna execute the same steps, but in one way it's updating it and the other way it's creating it. So let's go to update opportunity. Here's update opportunity, click on that one. And then the filters, we're gonna see where this opportunity is. It's in our pipeline, which is Sonic Solutions. And then the stage that it's currently in is gonna be new lead and the opportunity name is in the name of what we're calling this opportunity. Well, we're gonna pick the customer's name and their phone number. So user, full name, and that's gonna put a nice little, so we're gonna pick contact, full name, and then put a dash just so you have like name, dash, and then a phone number. So let's put phone number next, go to the tags, pick phone, and now you should see this as name, dash, phone number on the card that's sitting under the pipeline new lead stage. And then so somebody would get an alert, they'd go to the pipeline or they'd see an SMS or email or notification on their phone, lots of different ways to get notified. Hit save action. And now whatever we're doing to the top, we're gonna do to the bottom. So what you can do is just right click this, hit copy, and then control V for pasting. And now we have a node down here. And so we don't have to repeat the process. We just have to click into it and hit save. So now we've done this very, very fast. Seems like there was a problem. No, no problem. Okay. So now the opportunity is created. We need to assign this to a user. So let's go ahead and pick another action. And this one's going to be assign to user. Remember users are the ones that are your staff members and then contacts are the ones that are potential customers. And then you just pick your staff members. In this case, I only have a test account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you had more, as soon as you add the second person, you'd have the option of whether you want to equally distribute them amongst the team. And sometimes you don't want to do that. Maybe you have an experienced person and you want them to get two or three leads before the inexperienced person gets one lead. And only applied unassigned contacts is good because they may already be in your CRM and assigned to a different user. And just because they clicked on your ad, they shouldn't get reassigned to somebody else. And then hit save action. <clears throat> and just like before, we're gonna copy that, control C, control V, and then connect the dots. I'm gonna drag it right click on it and save action. Okay, next up is add a task. So let's go and click that. And we say add task. And what is it that we want them to do? We want them to reach out to lead. And then put a description in there. And then we're gonna assign it to the contacts assigned user. Meaning the algorithm has picked somebody based on your input 
I just had one person, you may have multiple staff members, but whoever is assigned is the one that's also going to get this task assigned to them. And then when does this do? Now. Because as soon as the lead comes in, you need to be getting on the phone or emailing them or having some kind of confirmation. Control C, Control V, errors keep popping up. We'll see if there's a problem at the end. I think I'm fixing them by clicking on them and hit save. Uh, next up is the internal notifications. So let's do some internal, internal notification. So what we're going to do is email. Now, if you already have a template, that'd be great. Just go ahead and pick the template. But if you don't, it's an internal email. You don't need a from because that's going to default to the business email uh, name and the business email address. But who you're sending this to is important. It's going to be to the assigned user. And sometimes I like to copy myself on the emails going to and from so I know the system is working. And then the subject. How do you want them to see this? So you got a new lead is what I like to do. And for the message, just put something appropriate like, hey, and then variable for the person, the staff member. And then you got a lead. Please reach out and then sign it and save it. And then you're going to repeat the process couple more times for the other notification. So notification internal, and then paste the message from before. New lead notification is the title and then save. Oh, a redirect page is when they click on this notification, where do you want them to go? I want them to go straight to the opportunity and hit save. Okay. All users sounds good. And then save action. And because these are just internal notifications, I've been labeling them to say internal app notification or internal email notification. <clears throat> and then the third one is internal notification, but a text message. So assigned user, paste a message and then save. Now these are the internal notifications. Now let's do the actual email and the SMS because then we can have a wait period in there. So let's do action is email, send an email. From is going to be default, from email is default. And now here's our task that we're giving to our staff member. So we say, please reach out to a new lead. And a nice short message that says, please do this. And then reply done when complete and save action. And then we're going to send a text message. So SMS, give them a message. Same thing, please reply done when complete. And for SMS, there's no subject. Let's hit save. <clears throat> and now that we sent an email and SMS, we need to get a response from the staff member. And sometimes this could take some time. So we have to put in a wait here before we move on to the next step. So search for wait, pick it. And the wait for, we're waiting for a reply. So contact reply. <laughs> and we can reply either in the email or SMS. And there's going to be no timeout, meaning we're just going to wait here until we get a response. If we don't get a response, we don't mark the task complete. And then save action and save action. Now your staff member will also have to be a contact for this to work, but that is easily done. <clears throat> and then let's assume they replied saying they're done. Let's go ahead and update the task. So update. Now, in this case, you probably want a custom field as well that you want to update. Maybe it's something like assigned task, and then that field is what gets updated. For test purposes, I just had a contact field within the contact field already. So I said update contact field, and then picked one that made sense. So we'll call this update task status to complete. And it's update data field. And you pick a field within the contact section that makes the most sense. And just for test purposes, we're going to pick one reason for call. And in there, we're going to say booked and then save. After the task is updated, that's your entire workflow. Now you can publish this and save it and then test it with one of your staff members, or you can make your own test account and go through the process to make sure it works for your business. And then as always, if you want a copy of this, you can use my affiliate link where you get the entire sub account and everything we've built so far, import it into your own high level so you can start your agency on the right step. You'll also be a member of our affiliate program in here where we add you to our paid campaign. 
and any leads that come in get shotgunned out one by one to all of our affiliate members. So join our free school community and just hang out if you'd like or jump in with both feet and start making some money today. If you want to try your hand at doing this yourself instead of just watching, you can use my high level affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, you get an extended 30 day high level trial, hundreds of pre-built AI agents, access to my school community, 40 plus business and marketing courses that I've built. You'll have all of my website template that you've seen me create. I'll even hop on a live Zoom call with you twice a week to help guide you and build your business with you. You'll have a direct line to me and also a chance to join my agency and run some of these businesses that I have as well as take on my client. Hope to see you soon. Thank you.